Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Destiny and we are back with my baby girl Harlow with the Crybaby Whims Legacy Challenge. And I just want to start off this episode by saying that I am no longer following the challenge per se. Um, <laughs> I have completely decided on a different ending a couple nights ago whenever I was laying in bed and thinking about my challenge. And so I want to do something a bit different. I'm still loosely following the challenge, but there's a few things that I am not going to do that the challenge um, has in it. So I hope you guys, well, I'm not going to tell you what it is until it happens, um, but I hope you guys look forward to it. I hope that that is okay with you. I hope you are excited. And woo, we are home and our baby girl Blair is outside and Mama Dearest is currently drunk. And um, she's also a little bit high, even though the weed that she smoked was dirt, she is still feeling it a little bit. Um, but her main moodlet, again, is sad because she confessed to cheating and she is soon to be single. But also in the last episode, we were kind of flirting with a vampire, but you know, let's just say she doesn't know he was a vampire, whatever. Um, so they were kind of, she was kind of flirting with him because she has officially given up on trying to make this relationship work with Damien. She just, she doesn't really see a point anymore. They have officially hit rock bottom in their relationship and she has come to terms with the fact that it is not going to work out. But our baby boy is still at work right now, so she can't really go through with anything quite yet because, well, he's not home. So she did try to flirt with Nick in the last episode, but is Nick trying to be a good person nowadays? Who knows? But he did not accept her flirts. He was upset with her that she was flirting with Ambrose right in front of him, but maybe that's because he knows that she still has a husband. But maybe he has turned over a new leaf and he is actually a good guy now and he does not want to cheat on his wife again. So good on Nick, but bad on Harlow. She cheated on Damien again. Granted, she was only flirting, but that's still cheating. Hello. But... Harlow is home. She is sad. She just had a long night. It's still nighttime. How are you going to tell me it's 8 p.m. when it looks like this outside? Um, okay, let me press play maybe and it'll get darker. Okay, it's just like bright, bright, bright as day outside, but apparently it's nighttime, so don't mind that. But... Anyways, Harlow is in a bit of a bad mood. She's sad. She just cheated on her husband again because she finally came to terms with the fact that this relationship is not going to work out. So I want her to do the thing that Damien has never done because Damien is a good man and he doesn't want this relationship to end. He wants Harlow to get her crap together and be the woman that he married. But Harlow is no longer trying to get her stuff together. I do not think she's going to be a good person by the end of this episode. We will, by the end of this challenge, we will see. I'm still trying, but she keeps getting whims and she keeps like just doing things out of her own ill will that it's like, it's hard to force a person to be good when they don't want to be good. You know what I mean? So we're going to see where she goes. I don't think she's going to end um, as a good, like, I don't think she's going to have a, God, why can I never think of the word that this, that I'm trying to say? I don't think she's going to become a better person. I think that she is just going to stay being the bratty little, little spoiled girl that she's always been, but we'll see. So with that, I say this, Harlow is not above it. She's going to ask Blair what parent um, she wants to live with because, you know, she's high, she's drunk and she just, she's given up. So she's going to be a no good nothing and she's just going to tell her little child toddler baby hey me and daddy are getting a divorce who do you want to live with and it's wow we're really about to mess our kids up but this is harlow so let's do it let's do it oh god here it goes <laughs> whoa my god <laughs> no this animation holy crud oh no who does Blair want to live with? If she is unsure, close this window without making a selection. Why does it only show Harlow? No, she's unsure. Okay, maybe we need to do it when the dad's home. Why did it only show Harlow? No. And I don't want to be given the opportunity to choose it. I want her to choose it on her own. No, that's not fair. 
I want her to just, I want her to just choose it. Don't, I think she has like the highest relationship with both parents. Yeah, she does. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wait till Damien gets home and maybe we'll ask her again. But that reminds me, we have new babies. So let's see how they're doing. Okay, they're both doing good. They don't need anything. But Harlow is terribly tired. I think both of the kids' needs are good. They're semi-good. Okay, I'm gonna get some food out real quick for little Damien baby and then I'm gonna have Harlow clean up real quick and then she will go to bed while the kids occupy their own time as if she's feeling flirty right now okay and she's also paranoid by thinking about what her child is thinking about I think I'm gonna say that this is because she asked her daughter which parent um, she wanted to live with and Blair was like what are you talking about mom like I don't know <laughs> what do you mean okay but then I'm going to go ahead and let her go off to sleep where is Theo okay I want oh yeah Theo's asking for food I forgot okay Blair okay um mom can you go get the baby some food Blair, you, okay, really? Come over here and talk to Mr. Axel. Give him a hug and some pets. Let's go ahead and do that, please. Can you go get your son some food? <laughs> Why does he have to come all the way out here for food? And Damien doesn't get off until 11 p.m. So like, this house is really about to blow up in the middle of the night, so you know. Okay, no, we're not gonna do that. Theo, honey, I'll just, I'll do it for you because your mom can't. Um, let's give you some fettuccine Alfredo. How amazing. Go ahead and go eat that, baby dearest. You're so cute. Look at you go. Oh, good job. Okay, and then I'll sell that for some money. <laughs> um, okay, Blair, you're going to hug your brother. Stop being the cutest thing in existence. Okay, Axel, seriously. Axel, shush your face. Lecture him about barking real- uh-oh. We have a massive hangover. We'll go ahead and confide our problems and then we'll go back to sleep. Look how good her she looks though. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, she looks so great. Oh, he learned not to bark. Halla flickin' Luya. Thank goodness. Okay, so we have the the divorce papers. Do we just like, do we get, do we hand this to Damien? Like, how does this work? I'm not sure. Oh my God, what is that? Ooh, I hate it. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go back to sleep until Damien wakes up and then we have some business to crack with him. <laughs> Ooh, Damien is home and he's embarrassed and he has looming anxiety from a dead end job and he's stressed and he has a passionless job. Oh my goodness, he only earned $450. Oh my bless. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and come in real quick and take a shower, which is going to then prompt Harlow to wake up because he's just gonna walk in the room and like flick on the light and turn on the water and be all loud and inconsiderate, but hey. They don't, you know, they're not in it to be respectful to each other anymore, so. <laughs> You know when you're mad at your partner? I don't know if any of you else, any of you guys do this. But whenever I'm mad at my husband, I definitely do not try to be quiet. I'm just like, blah, 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 you know, slamming everything around. Because I'm just like, if I can't sleep, neither can you. You know what I mean? No, I'm just kidding. I'm normally not like that. I'm sometimes like that. I'm normally not, okay? Don't worry about it. Change the subject! Okay. <laughs> so he, yeah, he's still going through all the emotions. But then he's also like, oh, we just had babies. And they're so cute. We have Jasper and little Sutton. How precious. All right, Damien. I need you to hurry up, my guy. Harlow's gonna go ahead and get up. She's gonna prepare for this. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, give ourselves a pep talk because we need it. We need it. What the heck is he doing? I told him to get some water and he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna drink this in the bathtub. <laughs> what even? Okay, hurry up my dude. Drink your water, clean this, go to the bathroom. Your, your wife is preparing to speak to you, all right? What are you doing, Damien? I didn't want her to see you yet. Pretend he didn't walk out here, gosh darn it. <laughs> 
She's also practicing debate because she's preparing for this showdown, okay? She wants to ask him about his day from being romantic partners as if, look at this romance bar, girl. Where, romance where? Ah, she's resentful from being near Damien because he chooses his job over her. Well, honey, at least he chooses his job over you over a full blown cheating person, okay? He chose his job over you, you chose another man, okay? D choose your poison, which is worse? I think cheating is, okay, thanks. All right, baby girl, ding, 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 here he is. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> see. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> mm, okay, mind you, she now, she's bitter, because she's resentful actually, because he's home and she's like, wow, you freaking cheated on me with your job. And you know, she's coming off of a hangover and you know, also coming off of being high. So we are going to go ahead. Can I give him the divorce papers? Where are the divorce papers? Finalize the divorce. I've never done this. No, I want like, hello. Are you sure if applicable matters of children's custody and then sharing a state must all be settled before? Oh my God, do it. I've never done this before. Oh, we go off somewhere. Oh my God, imagine she loses everything. Oh, get, oh, give me the option. Oh, at least she looks like, so, oh, she's so freaking cute though. Wait a minute, she looks great. Send to daycare. Holy cannoli, all right. Ah! Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm emotional. Okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> What has happened? Wait, we both had to pay $500. Wait, Damien's divorce is now over and officialized. Carlo's divorce is now over and officialized. Okay, but like, did we lose anything? Did he lose anything? Like, wait a minute. Wait, so like, we're divorced? Let me read his first. Oh my God, and he was flirty. He was enamored. Oh, he still loves her. Oh, I hate him. I mean, I hate her. The end of a marriage is a sad event in any Sim's life. Okay, but like, he doesn't even, oh, oh but he's still, he loves her so much, bro, 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 bro. I, ah, oh my God. Let me see. They're divorced. He's still in love, guys. He's such a good person. Why is he so good to her? Why? Okay, now, <laughs> sad little Harlow baby, go ahead and come up here and can we not like ask anymore? Like what, it went away? Like we're all just supposed to live happily ever after in the house together, question mark. I'm confused. Do we just live together now? <laughs> Is that what we do? We just live together. Um, I guess, but like, is there anything new that we can do with him? We can just immediately be like, I freaking hate your guts. <laughs> freaking hate you so much. Okay, well. Okay, I just want to see if we have any new thingy ma bibbies. Regret ending marriage, express regrets over separation. I don't think she's the type. We can trash the ex, which, oh, by the way, the ex is you. <laughs> oh my God, but we like, we can like kind of still flirt with him, but like also not really. Well, I'm not planning on it. I'm just saying we could. We could, okay, the, the option's there, the option's there. Wow. Guys, they're divorced. Like, I wish they would kind of make it like, um like a thing that you do. Okay, but. Oh, Damien, bless you. I'm gonna have you come up here and change the little baby boy's diaper. What does he wanna do with her? He wants to still be friendly with her. Stop being such a good person. No, she doesn't deserve it. Stop. Okay, and then we'll come up here and bottle feed her. Like, what What do you do now? Like, do you wanna come do a sad painting at 1.30 in the morning? Go ahead and do that. Um, Theo, what are you? What are you, why does everyone always wanna be friendly with Harlow? Like, no, be mean to Harlow. <laughs> She's a brat. 
why don't you go ahead and pet and babble at Mr. Axel, please. We're gonna do, do a painting to try to earn our $500 back that we just lost. And I think in today's episode, I don't know, I feel like everything is going really, really fast. I think I need to make a few more things happen so that I can take things down the road that I'm trying to take things down because for whatever reason, I don't know, I figured there would be like more things that would happen um, with the divorce, but like it didn't happen. So L let me see if there's like an option. Yeah, like there's not, okay, there's not an option. Like what the heck? Like I wish it would have done more like with the parents deciding um, like who the children are gonna have custody of and stuff like that because now I don't even get the option. But what I am gonna do is um, I am gonna have Harlow come over here and try to get a drink. Or you know what? One second, guys. Don't look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and have Harlow grab herself a drink. She's gonna get a Shirley Temple. <laughs> Damien, I want you to come over here to little Theo, baby, and let's just be nice to our little baby. Mm, I'm gonna have him accept Theo because I absolutely think that he would because he loves Theo with all of his heart. Damien has accepted to be a parent to his partner's child despite their son or daughter being the fruit of cheating in the couple. Oh, does that give him a special thingy? Please do. It doesn't, but it says son. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's just love on our baby. Oh, just kidding. Okay, he's going to sleep. What are you doing? You're going to talk to your little sister or your brother? You're going to talk to one of them? Okay, well, Damien, you can just go to bed, my love. Oh, he's taking the main bed. So I guess, Harlow, that means that you have to sleep somewhere else because Damien said, I'm not playing with you. This is my bed. In other news though, we did have a successful night on the town. Damien did not because he had work, but you know, that's fine. We are gonna sell this. We did not make back our divorce money because we only made $300, but we're gonna go ahead and have our drink, sell that for some money, get a little drunk. Ooh, we got a mixology skill. Yes, girl. And then we're gonna go ahead and also have a classic old fashioned. Don't mind if we do. And I wanna see what kind of mood that puts her in and then I'm gonna have her grab another drink. Not another drink. Uh, we're gonna do another painting after whatever mood it, these drinks are gonna put her in. Let's see. Oh no, our daughter's coming in while we're drinking. Wait. <laughs> uh, just you go, go take a nap right there. We'll talk to you in a minute. Mommy's going through it. Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and clean up those dishes. She really has to pee, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then let me see. She's drunk again. She's feeling flirty from her alcohol though. Well, Lord knows we have no one to flirt with, so I guess we'll just come over here and do, I wish you could do like a drunk painting. Wouldn't that be freaking hilarious? <laughs> that would be great. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a classic painting large and try to see how much money we make. Can you even paint drunk? I wish there was a new emotion for like when you do things drunk, like you look absolutely ridiculous. That'd be great, but guess not. And then Harlow, I need you to also clean this, please. Thank you. Let me see when the kids' birthdays are. Do we have any birthdays today? Oh my God, Blair's aging up today. Both of the babies are aging up tomorrow. And then Theo is aging up. Oh my God, look, their birthdays are right next to each other. Oh my God, that's depressing. Okay, <laughs> that's sad. Is Theo coming to watch us? He is, what a baby. Wow, this is new, look how cute. Oh, interesting, I wish I could paint that good. Okay, and we're still not making our, oh, well. We've made the $600 back actually, so that's good. We've made up for the money we spent to get divorced. Um, but now we're kind of like cringe. I just need to express this uncomfortableness. Okay, she wants to post on Social Bunny, I guess. We can do that. 
Wow, look at our mom talking to Damien. Wow. Anyways, okay, we are going to make a new post. We're gonna post about our divorce because Harlow just seems like that type of person. <laughs> and we have some messages. Hey Harlow, I invented a new word, plagiarism. Okay, great, 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 great. Um. Wow, Nick messaged us and said that we should get together sometime. Okay, we literally like tried to flirt with you the other day and you just weren't having it. So like, I'm kind of confused, but Damien is in the downstairs bed. So that means that, oh, I forgot we had kids for a second, like babies. Okay, um, what's the matter? I'll go find out what's wrong with Sutton and then we will go to bed upstairs because Damien took down, took the bed, took our bed. So, you know, he pays the bills in this house. <laughs> Okay, and it's Harvest Fest. Oh, Blair reached potty level three. Good baby. What time do you have work, my love? He has work in eight hours. He is hungry, but Blair is not gonna be awake to take care of you. Sorry. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm sorry, there's still a baby crying. Oh my gosh. We found out what was wrong, but we didn't take care of the baby. As if, oh my gosh. Damien. Harlow's drunk. Can you come take care of your child, please? Oh, he's sad from being divorced, but he's still happy to be a parent. And he wants to play with Blair. That's so cute. Okay. Was that what the matter was? You're okay now? Oh, don't cry. Oh, what the matter? You're okay. Okay, and then we'll come over here and we'll bottle feed Mr. Mr. Jasper and we'll give him a cuddle as well. What did he want to do with her? He wanted to play toys with Blair. That's so cute. They're outside. Can we like play with all the kids? Is she going to play basketball? Oh, she was playing basketball, cutie. Okay, and then Daddy Dearest, can you come downstairs and what is that? Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Um, let's go ahead and Eh, stop it. Let's go ahead and make a Thanksgiving dinner or like a Thanksgiving breakfast question mark. Like, huh, let me see. Let's cook a grand breakfast. Yeah, there you go. I knew that was a thing. So we will go ahead and do that so that all of the babies can eat. Harlow's just sleeping her drunk little life away, her unemployed drunk little life, huh? Love that for us. All right. And then we are gonna go ahead and call everyone to the Grand Mill so that the little kids can come eat and have a good little Thanksgiving breakfast. Yeah, I was about to say, you though, don't you dare. Okay, the babies. Oh my goodness, he's asleep again. Go ahead and wake up my love and come and grab a serving. Dada made breakfast and it's excellent quality, of course, of course. He's not even sad anymore. He's a little bit sad, but I think he's like, okay, li listen, like my kids is all that really matters. So it, oh well, oh my goodness. Lo she's feeling so flirty from being drunk. <laughs> As if, okay, she's tipsy. She's not having a hangover yet, but the babies are crying again, Damien. Harlow's too drunk to wake up. I'm sorry. Ew. Ah! Where'd I put that bowl? No, why'd you do that? I wasn't done. I wasn't ready. Oh, there it is. Okay. Did you take care of the babies? Yeah, he did. Oh my gosh. Look at her, she's so cute. Damien, can you clean these things up, please, my love? Where are you going, little Miss Thing, dressed like that? Where are you going, dressed all cute like that, girl? All right, Dad is going to go ahead and clean this up. Can he play this with his kids? No, you can only play with adults. Well, <laughs> he's not gonna wanna play with Harlow. That's a joke. <laughs> All right, can we try to appease the gnomes? No, okay, kids can't appease the gnomes. That's 
boring. Can you talk to your dad, dad? Oh, Theo, let's have you talk to your dad, dad, because Blair's going to play with the dogo. Go ahead and babble at him and talk about our favorite color. Uh, what time does it? I keep forgetting what time he has work. He has work at 2 p.m. Okay, very close, very close. Can we come over here? And I think it's her birthday today. So I want to see if we can like tell her happy birthday or something. Can we not tell her happy birthday? That's stupid. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's her birthday, right? Did I read it wrong? It's her birthday today. Today's Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, it's her birthday. We can't tell her happy birthday? That's dumb. Okay, well, whatever. Damien, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you just standing here for? Let's go over here and... Give him a hugging, a, hu a loving hug. She is just sleeping her darn life away. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have Damien put Blair to sleep. I think Theo's tired as well, so we'll go ahead and have him put baby Theo down for a nap as well. He's really taking on the single dad life right now, right? I mean, I know that Harlow's still in the house, but he's single, okay? He's being a good dad. And freaking Harlow's drunk upstairs asleep! Let's go put our princess to sleep. She's so cute. And then we'll put little Theo baby to bed. Good night, night, my love. Good night, sweet girl. You get a big girl bed here soon. All right, and now it's Theo's turn. Come on, my love. Whoa. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god! I can't even ignore it! Like, I either have to say of course or no way. I'm gonna say no way. Oh my god! <laughs> Should I say no way? Should I say of course? Oh my god. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him know something. What? $50 every day. What the heck is the thing? You are not it. You are not it. You are not it. You Okay, we're gonna say no way. Oops! Did that affect their relationship? Uh-oh, it did. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so Ambrose feels dejected about rejection. Ambrose doesn't necessarily blame Harlow for turning him down, but it still sometimes feels bad to be around Harlow, and then she needs a little space. Harlow feels that Ambrose is moving a bit too fast. Maybe some space will help? Okay, little vampire dude, get away. <laughs> Thanks. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Okay. Anyways. All right. Both of the babies are down for a nap. Oh, even Axel's in here sleeping with them. What a cutie pie. He needs to play some video games for his work. Just kidding, the babies are crying. <laughs> oh my goodness! Excuse me, sir? Go home! Don't you touch my- <gasps> He does not take rejection well, does he? Can you- Thank you, yes. Please get out of my house. Hello? Oh, Damien didn't see anything. Okay. Bye! <laughs> How awkward. How awkward. Oh my goodness! What is this man's problem? He said he was gonna go home. What's he doing? Is he about to bite her? Sir? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's not gonna take no for an answer. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> he's gonna kill her. He is going to kill her if she keeps saying no. No way! Be dejected by rejection. Get out. Admire his courage. 
Accuse of moving too fast. Just get out! Send home! Please leave! Ah! We're hungover! Please go! And because he's a vampire, Damien hasn't even seen him in the house. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Okay, she's hungover, and the best way to cure a hangover is to have another drink. So let's go ahead and get a back of form hurricane. Um, and then we will go get some food. She's going to come down here. She's going to look in the fridge and she's going to realize that Damien cooked food without her and like didn't call her to the meal, didn't let her know that there was any food. And now she's realizing that she no longer has a husband that's going to take care of her. Remember when she was pregnant and Damien was like taking care of the house and taking care of the food and like making sure there was food for her? Yeah, she doesn't get that anymore. And she's drunk again. Score! <laughs> okay, Damien, have you finished playing the video games? No, not quite. The little babies are still asleep. The little, even littler babies are doing great. All right, so we are down here sad and heartbroken that we're divorced and that we're a cheater, but we're drunk, so not too bad, right? We're doing great. As if, as if. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and talk to little Axel. We will confide our problems and give him a comforting hug. And then my girl needs to come in here and do another painting. This time we will do a surrealism painting, a large one, after we have another drink, of course. Oh my gosh, Damien, go to work, my love, please. I will have him working hard, of course. Try to bring in as much money as you can, please, baby. No! Blair, you could have waited. Okay, we really have to pee, though, so let's make sure we do that, too. Oh my gosh, now Theo's gonna want down and we're gonna have to come straight back upstairs. Uh -huh. No, let me finish the painting, please. We're trying to make money. No. Uh. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh. Ooh. Damien is tearing it up at a local tournament when a random mascot from a different game starts hovering around him. The green fur is distracting enough, but when the mascot starts leading the crowd in race... Ra Rashes. Cheers. Damien is faced with a tough decision. Embrace the attention or send the furball packing embrace the attention. Damien's strain. Well, we got a performance gain. I don't feel like reading all that. Sorry. Okay. We're going to finish this painting real quick. Are the babies okay? They are not okay. What? Demiadu? You hungry? We'll come up here and bottle feed you. Just a second. All right, little babies. Oh my goodness. Both of the babies. I'll go ahead and feed you too. Oh my god. Ambrose! Oh my god, he's gonna kill us. Dude! Can you please listen, listen, listen? Announce separation? Please go away. Ask to just be friends. What is this? Go away, you look pitiful. We are not in the mood. Oh, all right. Well, can we just be friends? Yeah, ask to just be friends because, dude, you are crazy. Oh my goodness, Sutton, we'll change your dirty diaper too, my love. Get out of our house, though. Like, please? Bye. Okay, dude. Bye. Corinne, why is everyone just trying for the baby? Okay, everything's happening too much. Too much. No, what? Ambrose. Go. We, we, we have, like, a baby to take care of, and, like, we're not in the mood, okay? Bye. Thank you. 
Let me go change Sutton's diaper. And then give Jasper a bounce. Oh my goodness, are the kids surviving? Oh, they're surviving. Okay, can we sell this please? Perfecto. Why are we getting negative emotions? What's the matter with you? Find out what's wrong with her, please. Do you want attention, my love? Wanna cuddle? Yeah, you wanna cuddle? Oh, little Sutton baby. Is that what you want? Oh, she wants a bottle. Stop pissing your child off, please. She doesn't want your cuddle. Put her down. Put her down. She, she, no. Feed the baby, please. <laughs> Feed the baby, she's not amused. Who, oh my gosh, we haven't heard from him in forever. Thankfully you found a girlfriend though, you don't have to stalk us anymore, that's great. All right, baby girl. Is this what you needed? All good now? Great, great, great. We're gonna go sell this, perfect. All right, kids, I love that y'all are like, you know, know how to use the bathroom, but I'm tired of cleaning it, okay? Who's in our house right now? Oh. Oh, okay, Bianca, I guess that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, Bianca. We're gonna go ahead and... Oh, she wants to be our best friend. Cute. We're gonna get a drink. We're stressed. <gasps> She's pregnant! Bianca! Oh my goodness! Hey, cutie! Having a baby? You're having a baby? Let's make a toast. You're having a baby with uh, Mr. Marcus Flex, are ya? Cute, but you don't drink. No, but you can't drink though. No, Bianca, don't you do it. What's going on? Hello? Oh, we are drunk drunk. Great. Excuse you. Theo. You cannot be doing this, bud. We're gonna go ahead and give you a talking to. And then we need to empty out this bowl. Is this getting on to him? I'm pretty sure giving, yeah, it's getting on to him. Who? Who are you and why are you thinking about my daughter? You can leave, thanks. I'm gonna have little Blair come up here to Miss Bianca and talk to the stranger. Oh, she's so cute, look at her. Oh, she thinks we have impeccable taste. Okay, but what I want to happen, wait, she knows our dad? No, that's Marcus, okay. So Harlow is drunk and depressed and just going through it. So I'm, go I'm gonna say, so Bianca has known Harlow for a few years now. She met her before she had the babies and then she's known her a little bit after she has the babies. So she knows that it's Blair's birthday today, but her mom couldn't be bothered to uh, take care of her or tell her happy birthday or anything. So Bianca came over to celebrate the birthday and she noticed how terrible <laughs> Harlow is doing um as far as you know sleeping and stuff like that since the divorce was finalized and she has just been getting drunk so bianca is gonna take it upon herself and make a birthday cake real quick okay get off of this please thank you she's gonna come down and make a birthday cake really really quick And since her and since Harlow is not taking care of it, she's gonna go ahead and make sure that Harlow has a good or not Harlow. She's going to make sure that baby girl Blair has a good birthday. And hopefully she will not remember that her mother was not a part of it. So let's go ahead and age up little Miss Blair. Here she comes. Okay, Harlow, I know I told you to like go to sleep, but the babies are losing their minds. Both have dirty diapers. Oh, shoot. Um, what's going on? Oh, oh yeah, okay. Um, 
We are going to randomize these for the little lady. She is an art lover. Oh, from always watching her mom play art, I would assume. That's cute. Um, she's a music lover and she's a glutton. These Sims have a greater negative reaction to hunger. Always enjoying eating no matter the food's quality. Ew. Okay. Um, wait, what was her things? Hmm. I think she's always been kind of a social butterfly. So I'm going to go ahead and make her social. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Bianca... That didn't really go as I planned, but you can go ahead and get out of the family. Pretend that she came down here and like, uh, <laughs> and blew out the candles, okay? I meant to make her blow out the candles, okay. But let's have a look, a little look-see. Oh, she's cute. Okay, she needs a little bit of work, but don't worry, I can fix it. Dad is home. He's gonna go ahead and come straight up here and brighten his baby girl's day and make sure that she knows that he was thinking about her, but he was at work, so obviously he was not able to attend her birthday and give her a loving hug. Mom's drunk, sad self is coming up here to take care of the babies. She's also going to go to the bathroom. She's gonna get pranked, oh well. I wish we could tell her happy birthday. Ooh, he got promoted. Tell her about the promotion, cutie. And then we'll go ahead and cuddle our little bumpkins over here. Great. Flush it, try to repair it. All right, I'm gonna have Damien come in here real quick because, oh, oh, stop it. Why is he so freaking cute? God, I hate that he's so perfect and we're just an absolute terror. <laughs> Why are we like this? Tell you reject Harlow's child. Oh. No, he's not gonna do that. He's a good guy. But anyways, he is going to, oh, not fight her. <laughs> Uh, I want to see if there's a way that he can be like, so, are you moving out or am I? <laughs> you know? Because he can cheer up the parent. He can be a good co-parent. That's so cute. Have the what are we talking? No, you're divorced. That's what you are. You are divorced. Okay, let's see. Hmm. He can save the conversation. He's so cute. Regret ending marriage. No, we're not there yet. Probably never will be there. Okay, what the? I can't have him just like, okay, you know what? Well, fine, then I'll have the absolute terror do it. Oh, she's feeling furious. Okay, perfect, perfect. She's feeling bad, so I don't feel bad about this. She's in a bad mood, so we have to be in a bad mood. All right, let's come over here. We're gonna be mean. We're gonna argue. Let's see what we can do. Um, we're gonna shout forbidden words at him in front of the babies. How great of a parent is she? We will come over here and, you know, just do, do some mean things. <laughs> uh, oh, call him a simp. <sighs> yes. She's in a bad mood, okay? Don't come at me. It's her. It's not me. It's her. <laughs> it's not me. It's her. Hmm. Look, he's just in here being such a good guy, and she's just about to be a freaking butthole. <laughs> wow. Love this. Love this for her. I love that she's just such an absolute brat. Okay. And then she's going to say, I hate you. Okay, whatever. Just leave the toilet. No one cares. She's so mean. Oh, why are you so mean to it? Like, why are you like this? Oh, what's he doing? Oh, poor baby. He's just trying to have a normal chat with her. Ah! Stop yelling at the poor baby. Oh my goodness. As he was telling another sim about it, Damien truly realized how much he regrets breaking up with his significant other. <gasps> I didn't tell him to do that and he expressed regrets over the divorce. Oh. 
He's too cute for words. Oh, but now he's mad. He's insulting her now. Oh my goodness. It's Jasper's birthday. Sutton's birthday. Holy cannoli. <laughs> Whoa, where did the time go? What, is he insulting her again? That's all he ever does is insult her. But she starts it, okay, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, she starts it, so we can't even be mad about it. Good job, Damien. Okay. Can we, like, like, listen, like, can we do some, like, I want more options. Why do we not have any options after a divorce? We should have options. Ask what Damien's problem is. Even though he doesn't have the problem, she has the problem. Wait, why don't you just leave me alone? I'm furious enough with you already. End of conversation. Stop scaring him. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, you know what? It's 107 in the morning. Damn it. We always miss the times for therapy. <laughs> um, okay. Well, what the heck, man? I want more options to do more things with our divorce, but we just don't have the options, and that's really stupid. Okay, so we're gonna argue about parenting, I guess. Um, and then that's how we will decide. <laughs> we're having the conversation about who the kids should live with. That's what we're having the conversation about. But apparently that's, like, not an option. So... We already, mm. okay. So then we split from the household and move, question mark? Oh my good heavens, but we have children. We have little babies. I'm gonna have to change. Well, actually their birthday is today, so it is okay. Imagine doing this at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Let's see how this works. Because it, the, the literally, it said that we were gonna have to go through like family court and stuff like that, like decide who the baby is gonna live with, but it didn't allow us to. Okay. So we're taking everyone. Imagine she takes all his money. Listen, he's keeping the house, okay? Okay. Don't worry, guys. I have a storyline. I just... I can't implement it quite yet. So, obviously, nothing has happened yet. So, we got a divorce, and all they're doing is fighting. So, she's like, I'm taking the kids, and I'm leaving. Um, and I'm super excited to show you guys this house that I'm gonna have to use a cheat to get. But, thankfully, we have rich parents, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, guys, let me just show you this house real quick and then I'm going to end the episode. So I did not build this house, but I did um, change some of the furniture and stylized the rooms a little bit. So I will show you. I got a little bed out here for our little Axel baby if he ever wants to sleep outside. We will start in the downstairs. So right here is Harlow's room, right when you walk into the left. I went ahead and um, CC'd everything up a little bit and added in her favorite color, which is yellow and some beautiful plants. Then we have a bathroom right here with a shower, which is kind of not how to see the shower we have a gym over here because we know that Harlow loves to work out with a washer and a dryer we have the cute little kitchen in here with a food bowl obviously for the babes the living room we went with black and yellow um, majority of this was already put in here I just changed the colors of it um, and then super cute over here underneath the stairs is like a little bookshelf and then I added a little painting easel because we know that she loves to paint. We have some food with some move in ready food of only one serving, love that. <laughs> There's another computer over here for if the kids ever want to play on it. Mom has her own laptop over here. 
There's a seating area outside. There's also one on this side right here with like a little beanbag chair. And then upstairs, where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Oh yeah, the stairs are over here. So upstairs, we have another little living room area, which is gonna move into here, which, oh my goodness, is she not spoiled? She doesn't know it yet, but this is Blair's room. It is super cute. We went with pinks. Um, I just feel like she's going to like that color quite a bit. We have their joint bathroom. We have the twins room over here, which hello. <laughs> okay. I'm glad it uh, knows which room is theirs, but I'm just going to add two little cribs in here for now, but it's already decorated for them. So this is Theo's side. And then we have a little Sutton side right here and they're twins. So I feel like they're going to love sharing a little room together. And then right here, Oh my goodness is Theo, which he's supposed to be the next gen, right? Because he doesn't technically know what, whose parents, who his actual dad is. So this is his room over here. He has the little sneak out window here. He has his own little balcony, which is kind of shared. Like if the other ones were to come out, but I think I'm going to lock this and I'm going to make it uh, Theo's own little personal, um, balcony area super cute he has his gaming computer hello he has a great room like him and Blair woo they got this set up okay they are spoiled so that is the house I'm going to have to give a uh, little Blair baby her update in the before the next episode so that she will have her CC makeover but let me know what you guys think of the house. Let me know if you guys are excited to see the changes that I'm going to be making. I haven't made all of the changes yet. Obviously, we got divorced um, before she ages up to an adult because I wanted to get things going a little bit sooner. But I have a few more twists um, ahead, of, ahead, ahead for us to experience. So I hope you guys are excited. And if you did like this episode, give it a like. Consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next drama-filled episode. Bye.